This is Roland Reserve at Bayview on Sydney's northern beaches. An infestation of car kiwiweed broke out here about six years ago. It spread to the unleashed dog park nearby. It must also have been carried away in the tyres of the great number of trailers that in summer are parked on the grass verge near the boat launching ramp. Soon after, we discovered it growing alongside the pathway at Kurawool Reserve to the south. Then we found it two kilometres away on the pathway to Church Point. Of course, dogs pick up seeds on their paws, and if people find them on a dog's coat, they'll probably pick them off and throw them aside wherever that may be. Shoes and trouser cuffs also pick up seeds to be carried to new places. What I'm looking for here is a weed that has recently arrived from the tropical north. It's been brought by four-wheel drive people who come to Roland Reserve. They've camped somewhere and picked the seeds up. It's called khaki weed. This is a good time to get them out. It's recently rained. The ground is soft and the seeds aren't dry enough for a lot of them to have come off. It's most important when you take this plant out of the ground that you dig deep. It has a very long taproot here and a very skinny little stalk and if you just pull it out quickly that will snap off there at that skinny part. The taproot will re regrow the plant. When you see a clump of these plants it doesn't mean there's just one taproot. There can be many roots because it has runners that go out and every little root that goes down from them eventually grows into a taproot like that. There's the taproot again with the skinny little bit that can, if you pull it, it'll just break off like that. Oh, here's one. It's spread out. Pe people have been walking on this. No doubt some of the seeds have already gone into the soles of their shoes. I'll try and get it up and then I'll look for the taproots. There'll be several here, most likely. Ah, I think I've got it out straight away. That's that part of it. You can see the little bunches of seeds growing. Once they get a bit drier, they just break up into many small seeds. Here's the taproot. There. All these little roots here would become taproots in no, in no time at all. Well, I've taken half of that clump out, but there's another side to it here, so we'll just lever up these runners. You see the leaves, and we'll find the main taproot, because this hasn't been here all this long. It'll be down here. Get right down. There we are. That's not such an old taproot. It hasn't been um, broken off before. There's a big patch here. They've obviously been putting something in here and put the seeds over a wide area. These plants have made a bit of a carpet here. In at station homesteads and stockyards where nobody has ever weeded, the whole ground is just covered with this stuff. There's nothing else. But if you persevere with this weed and take it up, take it out every year, you will, will get rid of the seeds in the long run. Very nasty weed for animals or humans with with tender soles on their feet. When it breaks off you have to go digging and look for that taproot. Or you'll just get it back again. You've got to get a good hold on that root to get it out. 
About three years ago, the council, on request, sprayed herbicide over a large outbreak of khaki weed around here. This slowed it down, but it didn't address the problem of the large number of existing seeds. Sydney is a long way from the tropics, so the seeds lie dormant for most of the year until a coincidence of heavy rain and high temperatures sees it virtually leap out of the ground and set copious amounts of new seed. These seeds must be removed. Initially, they can be swept up in large quantities. Once they're reduced, individual seeds can be picked up by hand. But some will always survive to germinate the next time monsoon-like weather occurs, and we seem to be getting more of that. Vigilance and a rapid response, as shown in this film, will not only contain the weed, but keep our parks, nature strips and playing fields as places where we can continue to go barefoot.